How do you program a thermostat for a dual fuel unit? How do you make sure that you set the compressor lockout temperature or the balance point temperature? What do you need to make sure that that thermostat works with that dual fuel and works correctly? Today I'm showing you step by step how to set up a thermostat to work with a dual fuel. If you want to learn more about heat pump balance point, you want to learn what it means, why it's important, how to fill out a heat pump balance point chart, I've got a video down in the link in the description titled Heat Pump Balance Point Training. Go check out that video to learn more. You're watching HVAC Tips for Technicians. I'm Tad. Let's learn how to program this thermostat for a dual fuel unit. So now we're going to go over how to set the balance point on the thermostat. This is the thermostat I'm working with. It is a Honeywell TH320U2008. And it says right here, dual fuel. See that? So this is a dual fuel thermostat. Now, we will need an outdoor temperature sensor. And this is the outdoor temperature sensor that I'm using, Honeywell. And it's a 10 kilo ohm sensor. Make sure you know exactly what type of sensor you're supposed to use. And that brings me to the next thing that you'll need, which will be the installation instructions. In the installation instructions, there will be a part number for a outdoor sensor. So make sure you have the right sensor. Now here's our thermostat. And the first thing we're going to do is we are going to enter the installer setup. So we're going to hit the menu and the plus button. It's going to say ISU. We're going to hit select. And I'm going to go through each one of these steps with you. So we take the installation instructions. We open this up to where our advanced setup options are. Shouldn't be too far. There it is. So we have the first step is going to be 130. So we're going to set that to 1. Okay. Wired outdoor sensor. So we're going to do that first. Okay. So hit the select button. So it says 130 hit the plus button one now we have set up the thermostat to where it, we have an outdoor sensor and I'll show you how that's wired in just a moment so now we're going to set step number 200 heating system type to heat pump and then 205 to air to air heat pump because if we're working with a dual fuel that's what it's going to be so 200 set to 2 205 is set to 7. Now we're going to go to step 218. So step 218, reverse and valve energizes an O. American Standard Train Carrier, they energize an O. How many compressor stages do you have for step 220? One or two, is it two stage unit or single stage? And we're going to keep going. We're going to heat stages, back up heat stages. Do you have one or two? Fan control and heat. Does your equipment control the fan during heat? Is it a gas unit with a board that controls the fan, or do you want the thermostat to control it? All right, we're going to keep going because none of this applies to us except for this. Step 255, backup heat source, okay? Is our backup heat source electric, okay, or is it gas? All right, we're going to set it, that for 2. So 255 is going to be set for 2, okay? So hit select until you get to step 255 and set it for two. You can set it for electric or gas, but ours is gas. So what else do we have to do here? Emergency heat source, is it gas or is it electric? And that is 256, okay? 256, so it skips, it goes straight to 260. So back here, we got 260 external fossil fuel kit. So this is where, is your thermostat going to control that backup heat so that when the outdoor sensor drops below that certain point where you set the temperature to switch over, or it, do you have an external fossil fuel kit that controls the backup heat? Some units have a control board that have a built-in sensor and they control the backup heat and you just set the, a dip switch on the board, or you have some type of... Um, button or something that you switch or some pin but for us we're going to use the thermostat to control the backup heat all right we're almost at the last step so we're going to set this one to zero and that is step 260 
So 260, set for zero. Okay, now we're gonna hit next. 300 auto changeover. All right, let's go back to the manual. What do we have left? I think we're almost there. Now we're gonna go to compressor, lockout, balance point, okay? Note, use a wired sensor to set the compressor lockout balance point on the TH6320U. So you gotta have that wired sensor. I'll show you how it's wired up. And then you've got outdoor lockout backup heat. So we can lock out the backup heat at 356. So let's go to 355 and set the compressor lockout or the balance point. So 355 and they have it set for 40, I guess, from the factory. And you can choose that. I don't suggest you set it anywhere over 40. And I'll give you some information in regards to why this says 40. But once we know the balance point, then we can set it. If it's 25, if it's 30, if yours is 20, if it's 15, goes all the way down to, looks like five. So select for 20, and then we can say, okay, at um, 30, it's gonna lock out the heat pump, okay? Or 35, it's gonna lock out the heat pump. And that's how you set it up. It's really easy. And then you're going to go through, and it's going to save, and then you're going to have a little triangle because, of course, we don't have a wired sensor. We don't even have the back plate. So that's why we have that little fault there. Now let me give you some more information about this. Now I'm going to show you the wiring terminal destinations for that wired outdoor sensor. You see where it says SS? We've got two wires, and that's what's used for the outdoor sensor. You can use a wired indoor sensor or an outdoor sensor. In this case, we need an outdoor sensor and this is where the destination would be for that outdoor sensor. We've got S and S. So if you had a two wire thermostat wire, you could run that and that could be for your outdoor sensor or maybe you have an extra two wires in the bundle of thermostat wire that you're using. This is a guide that I use when I do TVA jobs, and this is really good information, and I'm going to read something from this guide here. It says, dual fuel or hybrid changeover temperature shall be set to the home's thermal balance point, but no higher than 40 degree outside temperature. Let me explain why that is. The reason it says not to set your balance point above 40 degrees is because most of the time for most homes, the balance point is not going to be higher than 40 degrees. So your heat pump is going to be effective at higher temperatures above 40 degrees. So why would you set the balance point above 40 degrees? You just wouldn't want to, it just wouldn't be efficient. So definitely set it below 40 degrees. If you want more videos like this, be sure and check out my playlist, HVAC Tips for Technicians. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you learned something. Let me know in the comments if you did learn something, what was it? If you don't have a question, let me know who you are and let me know where you're from. Hit the like button, subscribe, smash that bell, ding, so you know what I'm doing. You've been watching HVAC Tips for Technicians. I'm Tad, and I'll keep you cool if you let me.